what's going on move makers if you're new to my channel welcome my name is mariah and i'm a flight attendant for a major airline all right you guys so today we are on reserve so they're actually called access days or a days and i have a trip a lot of things have changed which i'm gonna go ahead and debrief you guys once i get to the hotel because it's insane but right now i'm gonna be traveling from minneapolis to denver and then denver to pittsburgh and i'll have my layover there and i'm gonna give you the whole rundown y'all this plane is gonna hurry up and get cleaned we're gonna get catered and we're gonna start boarding so i will see you guys once i get to pittsburgh What's going on, move makers? I have made it to Pittsburgh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't get to my hotel until 12.30, 12.35. I'm so tired. I literally came in, took a shower, and jumped in the bed, y'all. It took us so long to get to this hotel. It's like almost a 25, 30 minute drive because we're in the city uh, of Pittsburgh. And it just took forever, but we finally got here and I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm done for tonight. So let me tell y'all real quick about what happened on my access days because I am on a set of three days and the first day I was just on airport standby. So I was there from 6.30 to 10.30, not doing too much and I didn't get called for a trip, so no problem. I went back to my Minneapolis home and then on day two, um, well really that night, I had got a notification that I was going to get a trip and so I was like, okay cool looking at the trip and it was in a way that I could potentially deviate from a deadhead that I had and stay in Atlanta and be home a lot sooner and I was here for it. Then I get a call at one o'clock in the morning stating that I'm getting another trip and they completely took me off of that trip that I originally had and they gave me this one and I am just like what is going on now i don't mind doing multiple legs i don't mind doing night trips uh red eyes it's not my favorite but i don't mind it. i'll do it but the thing was is that i am getting flown in on my off day so you're like mario what does that mean flown in on your off day well you guys i am literally flying back from atlanta to minneapolis that's one of my legs and i'm getting to minneapolis at like midnight like 12 10. so technically that's going into my off day and of course i don't have any flights available leaving at midnight to go back to atlanta so i'm gonna have to stay in the airport until 5 5 30 that's when the earliest flight leaves from minneapolis back to atlanta it's the commuting life it's completely different from what i'm used to from what i'm showing you like this is so so different and it's tough it's really tough but this is just the situation for right now i know it's all temporary so i'm just trying to keep that in my head that it's all temporary but it's it's hard but other than that you guys um i had amazing rest last night my flights yesterday were really good i only had a couple incidents where um a passenger his a nose was bleeding really bad one of my girls she took care of it and like he was good to go but you know that's really nerve-wracking because especially she was talking about how much blood it was i was like oh my gosh it's like crazy but he was good got him a nice little snack a nice little soda and he was he was good to go but my other flight from atlanta to pittsburgh it was bumpy y'all it was it was a little rough like our captain already showed us what the weather was looking like and he was like look we're not gonna go through that we're gonna go around it i said i agree let's do it but it was still bumpy so we're doing service everything's going well cool people are sleeping and then the captain calls and he's like look y'all like um flight attendants need to go ahead and sit down because 
it's it's gonna get rough and we're gonna discontinue service honey some people were just not having it because they're like uh where's my coke where are you going and i'm just like we have to sit down this is for our safety it's not that we don't want to serve you but we don't want to be flying across the aircraft if we hit turbulence like no so yeah some people had like a little attitude about that but that's just how it goes it's because of our safety and that's why it's important when you travel to have a little snack bag um i see moms do it all the time with their kids like they have big old ziploc bags with snacks and everything so you know if you can do that just grab a little couple things before you leave that is very ideal because sometimes that will happen and unfortunately service will be discontinued but other than that you guys i am just about to get ready to go ahead and report our report time got pushed back an hour but our van time was still the same so i'm not sure it's because like if the shuttle was already booked ahead of time and stuff like that and we still have to leave kind of early i don't know but i'm just gonna go ahead and get ready because it's best to be early and not have people looking for you because when they're looking for you it's a problem but all right you guys today should be a smooth day today is go home day and i only have two legs i am going from pittsburgh to atlanta atlanta to minneapolis the only thing that's going to be rough is trying to kill time before my flight going back and commuting to atlanta again but we gonna, we gonna figure it out. We got Netflix, I got my laptop. We gonna figure it out. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see y'all once I make it back to Minneapolis. Move makers, real quick, I just got a call from my flight leader. She let me know that our shuttle time did change an hour later. So I'm like, oh goodness, I can really take my time and just relax edit all that good stuff so i'm so glad that now we don't have to report like two hours early to the airport like that would be crazy so i'm so excited for that but again i will see you guys once i make it to minneapolis <laughs> makers i had made it back home it was so tough to stick it out and wait for my flight after my trip i had a really really good trip the hardest part was just getting back so late that i couldn't get back home i just did everything i could to stay awake i went to be in my bed so i just wasn't trying to go to sleep but as soon as i got on that flight i was just like okay i'm, I'm good to go but all right you guys this is the end of my video thank you so much for tuning in i've been getting tons of messages about a lot of people going to their face-to-face -face or their virtual interview whatever stage that you're in and i think that's absolutely amazing like i am just cheering you guys on and i actually got a request to specifically make a video to go over the interview process for the company I work for. If you have any questions about the interview process, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will answer as many questions as possible. Some questions I might not be able to touch on because we are not supposed to talk about specific things, but I will definitely do my best to answer it. Thank you so much again for tuning into this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe, leave me a comment below, and of course, hit that notification bell. And also check out my social media. And as always, when you make a move, make sure it's for you. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Play together.